Okay, hello there again. It's Ryan Kirkus. I'm going to do France this time. So let's do the French. All right, the French. I got the sheet here. It's still in my, in my sleeve here, so she's pretty bright. But uh, the French, um, they don't really have a home. Not really. French home country. I'm just going to use the map here. I'm not going to bother showing that sheet. Um, French home country is... France, so continental France, not Corsica, specifically does not mentions not Corsica. So European France is home country. This is not. All right, what else do we got? War status, start to peace, blah, blah, blah. Uh, surrender conditions, French pl player surrenders if Paris is captured or surrounded. And this would be Paris right here. So to surround it, you just have to take all the land units, all the land zones around it, or you just take it out. Um, so once the surrender happens, depending on what the German player is doing, Vichy may happen. That's a problem, but uh, you know what? It's the that's the big thing, right? Vichy's going to do something. Vichy happens. So, if Germany initiates Vichy, then Vichy, a neutral country, will be created here as a capital for Vichy in Marseille. <clears throat> and Germany is going to take Corsica and the rest of France, except for this one location. So now what the next thing is that happens is you're going to be doing a roll for every single place on the map and every ship on the map. Your ships are either going to become Vichy ships, they're going to get sunk, they're going to stay as French ships, or it's called Free French, but it's basically just the French again, or they're going to um, get sunk. So they're either German, French, sunk, or Vichy. All right, and same thing with these. It's a 50-50 chance that you keep this as France or that each one of these locations, as it gets rolled, will become Vichy. And if it's Vichy, they're not yours. So whatever units are in there are also not yours. Same with the facilities. So <clears throat> That's part of the problem with being France. You have no idea. You'll, your life after, after the game is... Uh, basically in limbo. You have no idea what's going to happen with every single one of these colonies in here, over there, there's one over there, right, French Guiana, and then you got the uh, French Indochina, I believe it's called, but it's also Vietnam. So, yeah, and then of course you got an island over here and whatnot, but that's, you know, these things aren't really all that important. They may seem like it when you don't get any of them sometimes, or when you get all of them. All right. Um, there's not really much to go over with France. We'll go over their special abilities here. Maginot Line. Any land attack through Rhymes in the, and into France across the Maginot Line. Um, basically, here, let's just show this here. It'll be easier to explain if I just point at it on the map instead of reading stuff off and you're going, what the hell is he talking about? So, there's a fortification on the border here of this territory. You cannot go through Luxembourg. I know it's a tiny little place, but you cannot go through Luxembourg to come in here without crossing that line. You also can't come from Munich without crossing that line. <clears throat> you can go through Switzerland without crossing that line into this zone. But you have to fight Switzerland first. So. <clears throat> um, and the line. Gives all defending land units. A plus three on the first round of combat. So if your. Infantry there is going to defend at a four. Give it a plus three. They're rolling at a seven. Um, and you give France two first strike artillery attacks at six from the line. So the line's going to shoot twice. Just like a regular fortification, only it's boosted up here. And it's just for one round, but uh, every single unit in there is rolling plus three on defense. 
and you have two artillery first strike hits rolled by the wall at a 50% chance and anything they kill is inst is insta-killed or doesn't even get to roll an attack. So, um, France also has a demilitarized border with Belgium. So Belgium here, if it's neutral, France may not build fortifications on its border with Belgium. So France can't build a fort in Picardia on the border with Belgium. It can, however, build a fort on the border of Normandy with Picardia, or on Paris where it borders Picardia, or what do we call this place again? They're all covered up. So Lorraine on its border with Picardia, but that's three forts, which would have done the same as one. So <clears throat> that's a problem. And what other special abilities does France have? These don't seem all that special, but they're they're not very nice. Uh, mobilization. France cannot make a land attack into Germany or Italy until it has been at war for one full turn or one full French turn. So for a full turn, France has to have started and ended the turn at war before it can attack into Germany or Italy. All right. And just like the British, the French get to build colonial infantry. And I just detailed what home country is, and it cannot build a colonial in here because it's home country. It's not a colony, you know, that's the word colonial. So, and just like the British, it has to have a point value. Actually, it doesn't say you need to have a point value, but just to make life easier, that's how we've been playing it. I mean, you can do it however you want, but uh, you can only build one per turn in a original French, so got the France roundel, and it's got to be not Vichy. It's got to be run by the Free French, and basically the Free French are just the French after they've been defeated that are still fighting, and the Vichy is the ones that but yeah, you know what? We got defeated. We don't want to keep fighting. That's pretty much it. So, there you go. French colonial. I already did this in the British one, but you can build it in any. Apparently, you can build it in any French territory. I personally think that if the British colonials can only build, be built in a place with a point value like Tunis or northern Algeria, they shouldn't be able to build it in southern Algeria. And it's a limit of one per turn. Not one per turn per zone, but one per turn period. That's it. You can only build one colonial in January 1938. And then you have to wait till July 1938 to build your next one. Or you just don't. You don't have to build it. But That's the maximum you're allowed to build is one per turn. All right, so that is basically the French special abilities. And basically the French's special ability is that they're set up for failure. They will fail. And they are really hoping that um, <clears throat> that uh, Vichy rolls go in their favor. All right. So now if you're France, what the heck are you going to do? Because it sounds like I just said you're a defeatist. And you kind of are, but you're not really. So, first let's whip ourselves over to the build chart. France has a cruiser and a battleship sitting on this build chart. Now, if France loses its home territory and its shipyard, it's going to basically give these to the Germans. I showed that in the German video. Do you really want to switch this one out for a black one? If you're France? Not really. So um, my recommendation to you as the French player is to place these ships before the Germans do. Yes, exactly. Uh, so you don't want to move them forward to here and then forget about them and then have them die. And then these suddenly turn into German ships that they only have to build for one turn to place. So you got two options. You either leave them way the heck back here and don't touch them. Or you build them to completion and place them before you get conquered. And surrender. 
and you will surrender. Unless the uh, German player is doing some craziness. Which could happen, but eventually you're going to surrender, so. Alright, so you would have to place those. Now you're going to have to place that battleship at a shipyard, so it's either going to be there or there. Right? And once they have possession, Germany have possession of the shipyards, they have possession of your ships. So. Or your home territory. Once you surrender, you surrender all your all your in production items. So this could be bad. But it's not all bad for the French. There's a lot of convoy lines on this map. France may not have a lot of money on these convoy lines, but the French don't want to just have their navy be useless. At least most French players don't. So rather than just sitting there, the French are probably going to move a cruiser out to here and put it on escort duty. Maybe they're going to move something over there and put it on escort duty. Maybe they'll put this on escort duty and that on escort duty. And heck, they might even put that on escort duty. Kind of get where I'm going here? Yeah. Exactly. Now, another thing you're going to be doing is you can turtle in France. And in a way, you're going to be helping your, your kind of buddy, but not really buddy in Russia. Because the more units you have in France, the more that Germany has to spend on France in units. And if that's the case, then, um, yeah, you've done a good deed. Now, best case scenario for France is that Paris surrenders while at the same time <clears throat> there's at least one British unit in Marseille and you got a big stack there and you know why I'm saying that because if that happens Vichy can't happen Vichy will not be done you will not be rolling your navy you won't be rolling any French territories Everything goes free French. There is no Vichy France. That's how that works. So that would be your best case scenario. As uh, France. So try to get that set up with your partner. Right? Try to set it up. Now it's entirely possible. See the problem is that you can't cohabitate anything until you're both at war with a major power between France and Britain. But, there's a few ways you can get this done. <clears throat> On, let's say, okay, I still got this weird stack of troops down here. But, uh, let's say the, um, the British and their wisdom put a couple of guys right here and park that there. Well, Germany on its turn declares war on you. Right? Now this is not as efficient as if the, you could use the French to drop something off. But personally, once Germany declares war on France, <clears throat> Britain should have its own transport down here somewhere. Or two, or three, or whatever. And a bunch of aircraft and just, I know this sounds crazy, pile her up in there. Right, pile her up, land this aircraft in there, make that a stack. I know, I know it sounds totally crazy, but that would be my recommendation as an option if you want to eliminate the beachy thing. You don't have to do it, but that's the only way you can prevent beachy. It's very difficult to prevent though. So don't be too, don't beat yourself up if you can't do it. One of those things. France is a kind of a depressing player, uh, one to play. So that's why usually the French player is also going to be paired up with uh, the same person being the U.S. or something, right? If you're going to get crushed in one spot, you might as well be able to crush somebody somewhere else. Make make it a little more fun. All right, so that's one thing you can do with this navy, right? Another thing, you know, there's. You can always just make yourself a disturber for uh, for Britain. Now, 
How do you do this? You can't save your fighters and whatever by flying it to Britain until you've been declared war on. And most of the time, the um, <clears throat> German player is going to do its double move on you, which means that uh, it doesn't help you in any way. You know, let's turn a little more light. There you go. So, you, if it uses a double move when it declares war on you, you can't even move because these guys are already dead. So another thing you can do is you can preemptively move these aircraft down to here or something. Now the problem with doing this is you don't know. Because if this goes Vici, so do the aircraft. And I just gave the Vici a medium and a fighter. So you might have been better off if you left them up here and threw some British in there. I made that a tough nut to crack. Because sometimes the German player is not going to... He's going to think, you know what, screw Vici. I just want to kill France in one turn. Right? So, that's what you're hoping. Because as France, that means you get to keep most of your navy. You're not doing a roll on it. You don't have a 25% chance of keeping your units. Uh, and a 50% chance of keeping your land. That's a crappy way to play, so... So that's it for basically France is you're going to, you know, my recommendation, make it stack. If you're going to stack one location on the outside of France, uh, of Paris, so it doesn't get surrounded, I would recommend Marseille. And if you can get some British in there, your other option is put a stack in Paris. In fact, those are your, your one option is to do both of them because you're either surrounded. And if you make that too easy, then you just turtle and all your units disappear. Or they take this out and then all your units on the outside disappear. But if you got at least one British unit here, then there will be no Vichy France. So try to get that done. Any means necessary. Air transport. You name it. You name it. We'll figure it out. All right, so that's that really for Fred. And then after that, well, the only thing you really got going on for you is you're basically doing the same thing uh, after Paris falls and you turn into the Free French. You're basically turning into Australia. You got almost no income. And you are desperately trying to stay alive. Now, there's one thing about France. It's only got set places it can relocate its capital to. So... Um, yeah, when the fr French surrender con conditions are met, the, you must choose. You must choose a second capital. The player may choose London, Belgian Congo, or Algeria. This is not French home country, and you may receive land lease at this location, even if there is no factory present. If that fails, a third capital may be chosen. So you may if so. If, for example, you chose, this did not become Vichy, so you chose Northern Algeria, it can become your capital. But if it gets taken over, then you can choose a third capital location. Um, France continues, so yeah, you can choose a third capital, which would either be, there's only three places you can, you can go. It's London up here. Algeria or the Belgian Congo and it, you, here you can receive land lease if the British are willing through this Navy port up along the railroad tracks and into here <clears throat> otherwise the only way you can receive land lease is to this Navy port and I would presume it would come through here so that's your only way, or if you're in London, you can receive lend lease to London. So basically, as France, when you're the free French, your sole job is to just stay alive, build up some units, just like the Anzac. You got one job: stay alive, be a pain in the butt, slow Italy down. Pretty much that's it, because you don't have any more involvement with the Germans up there, really. So your your involvement's all going to be. Uh, down here in Africa 
the Middle East, you know, Madagascar. You're going to have this place over here. You're likely going to keep it, but it's not worth anything, so that doesn't help you. Um, these here, they're so far away, you're probably just going to lose those to, uh, to Japan. It's either going to turn beachy and Japan drops around a lot on it and takes it right over, or um, it's just going to get rolled right over. So, yeah, you don't have a lot of hope on that side. So yeah, really your job is just like Anzac, stay alive, be a pain in the butt, build some units, receive some lend lease, um, send lend lease, right? You're, you're France, you don't really have a lot of money, you're building the colonial infantry, maybe a couple of militia, and you're funding all the tax on neutral countries that cost the allies 10 bucks. That's your job, that's pretty much it. Stay alive and try to help everybody out one way or another um yeah i don't really have much else for france um i do have one point in france for tech if you get a chance to roll for tech for france but you need to have a home country to roll for no you don't you, but if you're rolling for france wartime income or wartime economy do that one that will give you whatever your income is plus 2d6 for your income so that's the best way to help everybody out make yourself some more money so that you're uh you could be france who's land leasing 10 bucks to germany or, or sorry not to germany 10 bucks to britain or 10 bucks to russia or 10 bucks to china that would be a really handy thing if france could land lease 10 bucks to china or half its income or half of china's income to china every turn they could build a lot of extra units slow japan down that I say would be worth the uh, two dollar territories you just gave up in uh, in Vietnam there, or the French New China, whatever you want to call it. All right, um, that's about it for France. Yeah, stay alive, be a pain in the butt, and harass, and slow everybody down, just like Australia, and wait for the big boys to come in and give you a hand, and get your capital back. Because when the big boys come in and give you your capital back, you suddenly turn back into a major power again. You have your capital, your home territory. And the boom. And don't believe you get any bonus money like you do in Global 40. But you do get the income off your land units, or off the land, right? And since it's home country, you may not have any, whatever money you had, you can spend, right? So, I mean, these ones are only worth one, so you can only build one uh, one militia there. But what's the Paris worth? Where are you? Paris is worth three. So, if Paris is liberated, 100%, I'm dropping three militia in there for six bucks. They might just be a bunch of meat shields, but... Um, those are three hits that the liberating force doesn't need to take. All right. And that's pretty much it. I don't really have much else to do with France. So we're going to leave her there. Um, yeah. Tech, wartime economy. Other than that, they're all kind of a waste of time. Maybe the factory one. Improve factories. But you better be building a factory while you're placing those battleships so that uh, Germany doesn't get them. Uh, for sure, this way Germany only maybe gets them. I know, France is kind of sad that way. You're, you're banking on a, I hope they don't get it. Instead of, they're going to get it for sure, and I'm not going to let it happen. All right, so that's it. That's my whole French video. Um, I'm not going to bother doing another one on France. Not really a lot to deal with here. France is pretty small beans. All right, enjoy and keep on having a good time. Bye.